In this lecture, we are going to discuss the different aspects of the polymyxin like mechanism of action, antimicrobial spectrum of the polymyxin and the different adverse facts that is related to the polymyxin. So let's get started. First of all, we will discuss the mechanism of action of the polymyxin. The most important thing which you have to remember that the polymyxin is actually used against the gram negative bacteria. Okay, that's the most important thing. It is actually used for the gram negative bacteria. Okay, first of all, we will see the different composition of the cell membrane and the cell wall of the gram negative bacteria. So, first of all, the outermost component of the gram negative bacteria is the outer membrane. Okay, first component is the outer membrane. Second component is the peptidoglycan okay and last component is the cell membrane okay so if we look at the outer membrane okay that is the main action site of the polymyxin so in the outer membrane you will see the presence of the porins channels so here are basically the porins channels okay and you can also see the most important component in the outer membrane of the gram negative bacteria is the lipopolysaccharide. So, here is the lipopolysaccharide, or you can say endotoxin. Lipopolysaccharide, also known as the endotoxin. Lipopolysaccharide, or you can say endotoxin, has three most important components. So, first component is the lipid a component next component is the core and last component is the o antigen o antigen so here are basically the three components that is actually present in all these sets lipid a component first component okay second component is the core polysaccharide okay this one is actually the core polysaccharide and last component is actually the O antigen or you can say somatic antigen this way. Okay, that's the most important thing. In the lipid A component, you will see the presence of phosphate. Phosphate is actually present in the lipid A component. Basically, in the lipid A component, if I write it here, in the lipid A component, you will see the two things. First is the disaccharide diphosphate this one and next component that is actually present in the lipid a is the fatty acid fatty acid so basically two components present in the lipid a disaccharide diphosphate it means that phosphate is present in the lipid a component and this phosphate that is actually present in the lipid A component has the negative charge. So, it means that negative charge is present in the lipid A component. Okay. Here is the negative charge on the phosphate component of the lipid A. Okay. For the combinations of the lipid A components, there are different cations present in between them. These are basically divalent like the calcium and the magnesium. So, in between the lipid A component, you will see the presence of the divalent ions like the calcium Ca2 positive and the magnesium 2 positive. These divalent ions basically combine the different components of the lipid A. Here is the lipid A, here is the lipid A. In between the two lipid A molecules, you will see the divalent cations like the calcium and the magnesium. Okay. Then how polymyxin act on it? Basically, polymyxin, if I write it here, this one, this is the polymyxin. Polymyxin is actually the positively polypeptide. It is actually made up of different amino acids and it having positive charge. Basically, lipid A has negative charge and the cation have positive charge. Basically, this polypeptide, polymyxin, displays the divalent cations okay if you see here here are basically the cat divalent cations basically these divalent cations is replaced by the polymyxins okay 
because polymyxin having positive charge that will attract to the lipid A component. Okay, and ultimately you will see the disintegrations of the LPS, or and as a result you will see the different components that are actually present inside the bacteria will really starts moving outward. Okay, that's the most important thing. And second thing which you have to remember, this polypeptide polymyxin will also enter and move towards the cell membrane. And ultimately, that will also disrupt the cell membrane. And ultimately, the different component that are actually present in the bacteria will really start moving outward. And you will see the killing of the bacteria in that case. So, this is how polymyxin disrupt the gram-negative bacteria by displacing the divalent cation. Similarly, when the gram-negative bacteria die, LPS also exists. So, basically, polymyxin also helpful in the neutralization of just the LPS component of the dead gram-negative bacteria. Okay. So, this is the mechanism of action of the polymyxin. If we discuss the spectrum, so basically, Polymyxin is used for the gram-negative bacteria. It includes Klebsiella pneumoniae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and you can also see the Acinetobacter bominae. So, these are basically the gram-negative bacteria. Okay, so the most important polymyxins that are actually used clinically, uh, polymyxin B and the polymyxin E, which is also known as cholestine. Polymyxin E also known as cholestine. What's actually the difference between the polymyxin B and the polymyxin E? So polymyxin E is actually present in the active form, like the polymyxin, polymyxin B sulfate. Okay, but polymyxin E is actually present in active form, in active form. It will, it will become active inside the body and it is actually present in the cholestimethate, methate sodium. That is the inactive form of the cholestine or you can say polymyxin E. It will become active in our body. Polymyxin B is actually given through different roots like the parenteral roots, ophthalmic roots, ortic roots, and topical root. Okay. Polymyxin E is actually given through the IV line. Okay. It can also be used in for the inhalation. Okay. Here are basically the difference between the polymyxin E and the polymyxin B. If we look at the adverse effects, so two most important adverse effects. First one is the nephrotoxicity. Nephrotoxicity. It will affect your kidney. And second is the neurotoxicity. Neurotoxicity. It also affects the nervous system in which you will see the weakness of the muscles because muscles is actually in the control of your nervous system. So, this is all about the mechanism spectrum and the adverse effects of the polymyxin. If you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.